This poor one looks like it's had a nigh removed and stitched up recently. New friends. She's lovely. We have to come see her now every day, aren't we? I want her to get adopted. Because of the scar where her eye was, Sarah decided to name her Harry Potter. But she's a girl, so Harriet Potter. She wasn't the only stray on the beach. She gave those ones names too. There was Ron, Hermione, Dumbledore, Malfoy, Severus. They all hung together and clearly were very well fed. Harriet though never mixed with them. She was always on her own. And certainly compared to them, skinny. Stuart, a local volunteer for the Skiathos Cat Welfare Association, told us that she'd randomly turned up just a couple of months earlier. We had no idea how old she was, and we had no idea what had happened to her eye. But thanks to Facebook, we found out that just before we met her, a lovely lady called Helen, who was a tourist, had come across her and seen that she had this really bad right eye. So she contacted the charity to see what could be done. One of the visiting Dutch vets who's on the island for the neutering program took a look at her and removed the eye and also neutered her. It was good to find out a little bit about her. That's the thing about cats. It'd be so much easier if they could just talk. There were loads of cats who felt special on the island, but there was something about Harriet that stood out. Sarah's made another new friend. Although there was another one in Skiathos town. So we now have a name for her. She's now called Moo. But that's another story. Oh yeah, Harriet. We had about four days left of the holiday after meeting her. And every day we came down to Eleni Beach to see her and to feed her. Hello little thing. Come over here. We thought it might be a good idea to get her stitches checked out to make sure that everything was okay. So it was time to take Harriet to the local vet. I don't think she's going to be too hard to catch. <laughs> oh, almost. So you're not going in yet then, you're just going to chill down here, are you? Okay. Well done. Yay. Oh. All right, Harriet, let's go to the vet. She wasn't bothered at all by the car journey, and the vet saw her straight away. They are dissolvable stitches, so they'll be gone soon. Sarah's taking her off to put her down. It was really hard saying goodbye because we just didn't know when or if we'd see her again. We really love this little cat. I went back to Skiathos on my own in early July to continue the Skiathos Cat series of documentaries to try and raise awareness and help the cats of the island and the charity who do so much work for them. And of course I went straight to look for Harriet when I got there. But there was no sign initially, but I kept at it. Harriet! 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 Hello, you. Hello. Hi, Harriet. Come on, let's get some food for you. It's so good to see you. to see Harriet twice a day to give her some food. I didn't know what else she was getting fed. She would have got some food from the charity volunteer and maybe some food from the taverna and maybe even the tourists who were there. I just knew that whenever I saw her, she was starving. Of all the places to be a stray cat, this did feel like one of the nicest and safest places for her. No roads, just that car park and a beautiful location. I felt that she was in a good place here. It's you, 
hell yet. <laughs> but spending this time with her every day, she was always sitting with me, hanging around with me, and we even watched the World Cup together, probably the first time she'd seen television. At this point, she really meant a lot to me. This is Severus. Severus, say hi to everyone. Severus is a lovely beach cat, not a street cat, a beach cat. He's very, 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 very friendly. Pop the food. Get in there. And where was Harriet whilst I was feeding Severus? She was off getting cuddles with other people. I think she'd gotten jealous. My plans to chill out with Harriet on the beach took an unexpected turn though. You need to get into shelter. It's not always picture perfect sun. Storms here. I'm trying to make sure. I mean, she, she's coped without me. I just want to make sure that she stays dry. I care a lot about her. Hey, I can't take you back with me. Oh, oh no, now you're on the shelter of my car. What am I going to do? That's better. Stay there. Bye, Harriet. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay dry. I can't stand leaving her in this rain, but she's been used to it without me for months. So I'll take her home with me. Stay dry, Harriet. When I saw Harriet in the sun laying on the lounge, just getting attention, it felt like she was in the best place she could be. But that afternoon, the reality hit me. She had no hope. She was vulnerable to the elements, and when the tourists left for the seven months when the beach was closed, she would be alone. I seriously thought about taking her home and adopting her, but I didn't know if it was the right thing to do for her or for my three elderly house cats at home. On my last evening on Harriet's Beach, I was walking back to the car when I saw a boy try and hit Severus with his lilo. I stopped him and scooped poor Severus up, taking him to my car to get him to safety. The kid was with his parents who were not at all bothered by what their son was doing. In fact, the father said to me as I walked past him with Severus in my arms, curiosity killed the cat. Hello, nice to see you Severus. Do you want some food? Come with me. Severus. Come on. Come on. There we go. Enjoy. The more friendly and trusting the cats, the more at risk they are from people. The ones who are timid and run away are less at risk than the ones who like to be cuddled. It made me worry deeply about all the lovely cats I'd befriended who were still out on the streets. I had probably made them a little bit more trusting by giving them attention. I was all packed up and ready for my flight home the next day, but all I could think about was Harriet. So even though it was 2 a.m., I needed to go and see her one last time. Hello. Yeah. After all that, she didn't even want it. Oh well, at least I got a chance to see her. I couldn't leave her behind. Right, let's go. So, 
I adopted her. She had a blood test and thankfully nothing was wrong with her. Um. For the next few weeks, she stayed in safety with the charity until her flight to begin her new life with me in England. Hello. Hi, Harriet. She's so I mean, so chilly, this little lady. And she was good on the flight, yeah? Yeah. Apparently so. Even though, didn't they say? In other words, she's just been in the back chilling. The others, <laughs> the others have been like really. The others have meowing. started to meow. In the girl. But still, for the first two hours of the journey, silence, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah. Hello, you. <coughs> it's your dad. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'll get you home shortly. You ready? Hello. You ready for your new life? Mm. Oh, she'll have a great life. Now that she was in England, this was where the hard work started. Her adapting into becoming a house cat wasn't my biggest concern. She absolutely loves people, but cats, not so much. Not even lovely Severus. This is not uncommon with strays because they're always fighting for their food. It's a stairwell. Oi, Harry. Poor purse. I waited two weeks before introducing Harriet to the other cats. I only let them mix for brief periods of time. Percy definitely wants to play. Because I didn't want to stress them out. Patience was the key. Percy. Harriet. And making sure she got lots of love. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> a couple of weeks before Harriet had even come over, I made a spontaneous decision to adopt one of the kittens that I rescued whilst making the Skiathos Kitten series of films. Little Jimmy the Greek. He joined the rest of the cats about a month after Harriet arrived. Was this going to make things even more challenging? Absolutely. Heartbreakingly, my beloved Noodle passed away at the age of 18. She never had the chance to get to know Harriet and Jimmy. She only spent a tiny bit of time with them. Even in that time, little Jimmy took a shine to her and her to him. Even though she was a tiny little cat, she was such a huge part of my life. And when she was gone, even with these wonderful cats around me, my home felt so empty without her. Over the next couple of months, it became clear that I needed to get another kitten for Jimmy to play with. The boys found him really annoying, and of course Harriet wasn't interested either. So, I decided to get Lollipop, the little Burmese kitten, and they became instant best friends. And Bertie and Percy took to her almost as quickly. Harriet would take time though. She'd also developed a really large bulge in her right eye socket. Part of her eye was still in there and creating liquid. She needed to have an operation to fix this. Harriet. Thankfully, it all went smoothly. Hello. Her wound healed quickly. And little by little, things improved. With the odd blip. Wait. No. Don't hit her. You alright, Dan? Whoa. She still very much needs to have her own space and, of course, her own individual attention. But she also likes to be around the others. Oh. 
hopefully in a few more months' time, things will be even better than they are now. It's all good. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. And stay relaxed. Stay relaxed. Well done, Bertie. Well done, Bertie. Are you even touching him, Harry? Good girl. Just don't wallop him. Amazingly, Harriet's story has been turned into a children's book. And when I got my first copy, I read her some. Her friend Severus is sunbathing on a lounge chair near a large group of tourists. And not too far away is a man sitting by himself on a blue blanket. That's me. He looks up at her as she casually strolls past him. And she searches his face to be sure it's safe to approach. The man has a warm, friendly smile, and he pats a spot next to him on the blanket. Harriet gratefully accepts belly rubs, chin scratches, and long head-to-toe strokes of her fur. It's a relief to be able to relax for a while, and it's moments like this that make Harriet long for the comfort and security of a place to call home. She's had such an incredible journey from Alaney Beach to here in England living with me. She brings so much joy to my life and I hope I do to hers.